Hello everybody out there in the uh, music community. This is Mike here, uh, Cometa or Soldier 777. And uh, I figure I'll show you a video of an album that came out on October 16th, uh, 2015 uh, from my favorite band, Striper, which has fallen. There you have it. And I also got the vinyl, which I've obtained this past summer. Here you have the vinyl in all's glory. There you have it. And the inside. And this is signed by both bass players and striper and the other members. This is Tim's side signature right here. And the four guys is in the front there. Robert Michael Perry Nas. There you have it. I got this on white vinyl. That you can see here on the inside. And here's the center ring. There you have it. Pretty, pretty cool. And um, so let's talk a bit, bit about this album. This album is significant because it is the last uh, album that Tim Gaines played uh, on uh, with Striper. And it has my second favorite song, which is Yahweh. There you have it, the first track. Great album. Uh, my, my favorite is, um, is Swords of Command. Not this sort of Command is a better song than Yahweh or other songs of Striper. This is my this is my preference, and that was the first song. Soldiers was the first song I saw on video from Striper by, uh, by video, and um, and um, which is back in around March of nineteen eighty six, and um, and yeah. So, and uh, what else can I say about this album? Let's talk about the songs. So, my favorite songs are on this one is Yahweh. Uh, Phone's pretty good too. Big Screen Lies. Uh, After Forever, uh, Let There Be Light, The Calling, and King of Kings. Uh, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven song. Got some other good songs too, like uh, Heaven and um, um, what else? Pride, you know, other good songs. The only song I don't really go for is Till I Get What I Need. I can't get in that one for some reason. But like I said, there's always a song or two on a Striper album, that, which I'm not a big, totally keen on. But like I said, the other 8 to 9, 10, 11 songs is, is great. Uh, usually good on, on a Striper album. And uh, so let me know your thoughts on this album. Also, too, the back of this album here is kind of similar to... Um, with the color schemes and the color, not that it's going to do the theme of another album. But if you look at the back of the Ozzy Osbourne album, Ultimate Sin, it's kind of got the same sort of color scheme uh, going on with the orangey color. This is, that's, that's what I thought when I first saw the back of it. That's what it reminded me of when I first saw the back of this album, of that the back of the Ozzy Osbourne album for some reason. That's, I know, it's kind of weird, I know, but anyway. Um, anyway, here's the, I figure I'll show you the inside, for those who don't have the album. Here's the inside of the CD. And uh, kind of cool picture of the band there. There you have it, with their guitars and everything. Kind of cool. And uh, and I don't believe that picture's on the album. Let me see. Actually, that picture's not on the album. It's, it's on the uh, record. So I guess the CD has an extra picture. I guess it's worthwhile to get both, both formats, but the difference in artwork. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Anyway, folks. A short video for you know, like know my thoughts of the album and this is probably my second favorite album by the way i think my favorite album is is um is uh, so far at least right now me change is uh, even devil believes but this is probably my second favorite album but there's only by a hair string because i mean the last four albums uh, or the series of albums are pointing out since 2013 has been totally great totally awesome so here you have a sharper follow let me know your thoughts um link uh put a explanation or comments below what you thought and uh you know let me know your favorite songs what memories you have in this album that kind of thing also uh, before i uh sign off um i had a great response to my last video where i discussed the three three major uh three from major retailers that put out uh, reissues or uh, christian of mostly christian uh, rock high rock and metal uh, mostly in the classic uh era which is uh, girders, uh, boons, and um, rocks. Um, I got a great response from that. I thank you for all your comments and your for watching. Always like reading your comments. 
And, uh, you know, as you may know, there's also Soundmast, uh, Bigger. They have a, a distribution in, uh, in Australia and Europe. Uh, I know they put up, and I don't buy from, from too often. I usually stick to the, the three major ones in the U.S. Here's an idea for you. If you guys, if Girder or Rocks or Boons is watching, do you guys ever thought of setting up a distribution channel for Canada, for Canadian, for Canadian um, uh, buyers? Um, you might want to think about that too because there's a lot of fans up here in Canada of the classic Christian rock, high rock and metal. I'm one. I think it might be, I, I think I know of one fella who lives about four hours, three or four hours from me. I think he's a big fan of the classic era too. Uh, you school school me. And uh, I think it might be another one here in town, uh, another friend of mine too, which we've talked uh, periodically on, on occasion. I'm not sure how many people are in the, over the mainland because uh, Newfoundland's are island in Canada. But where Soundmass set up a distribution channel in in um, in in uh, UK and and um, Australia uh, to save on um, to save on shipping for us Canadians and to save on uh, you know things like that. It might be nice if uh, you uh, if one of three major retailers have connections in Canada uh, that haven't brought into Canada. So I can order from that company in Canada, you know. I don't know if you guys want to think about that or give us some thought. Anyway, so anyways, uh, thanks for your response to my last channel, and you guys have a great day. Bye now.